welcome once again to the first Mansmith Innovation Awards. Yesterday, we have awarded the Master Innovators. Today, we will be celebrating the Filipino Master Enterprise Innovators who have made the huge milestones and have put the Philippines in the global landscape. The Enterprise Innovator category honors rising, up and coming, consistently growing Filipino innovators whose work and creations have proved to be original, sustainable, and commercially successful. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the Mansmith Innovation Awards, Enterprise Innovators. Pat Chan of Kubo, the innovators of startup incubation. Our vision at Kubo is to develop and unlock the potential of the tech startup ecosystem in the Philippines. Taking inspiration from the Bahay Kubo, we serve as a humble home for Filipino tech entrepreneurs hailing from all industries and around the country, working with them at every stage in their journey from starting up to scaling up. In less than five years, our lean team has managed to organize hundreds of activities, that have reached hundreds of thousands of Filipinos and have helped startups learn crucial business building skills, gain global exposure, increase their network and access capital. I believe what sets our organization apart is our spirit of bayanihan or teamwork. We were born out of a public-private collaboration and it is by working together and leveraging on the strength of partners that we will achieve our goal of fostering globally competitive tech startups that can shape the future of our country, not the world. So it might sound surprising to many, but if there's one concept to learn about innovation that I find myself repeating often, whether it's for founders or business executives, is that innovation involves a lot of iteration. Innovation isn't all about having a lot of funding, a team with the best pedigree, or even having a eureka moment brilliant idea, even though all of these things certainly help. The best chance one has of executing a meaningful innovation is to embark on the process of starting, validating, pivoting, and maybe starting again. The odds of success markedly improve the sooner and faster you're able to test your ideas and assumptions. Enterprise Innovator for Business Model Innovation, Katrina Chan. Thank you. Um, maraming maraming salamat. Thank you so much. It's such a huge honor for me to be recognized today as part of the inaugural recipients of the Mansmith Innovation Awards. Um, our vision at Kubo has always been to see, you know, Filipino tech startups transform our nation and even change the world. Um, and we've been trying to build an enabling environment here, working hand in hand with our community to build these scale ups, right? To create jobs, to build wealth, to make an impact. So, you know, again, today I'd really just like to thank Kubo's partners in the government and private sector, my many mentors who have paved the path and given me counsel, my amazing, passionate team. And last but definitely not the least, the startups, right? You guys really inspire everything that we do at Kubo. So to close, I guess my tip for aspiring entrepreneurs, well, one, just start, or aspiring innovators, right? Just start, and two, keep going. And last but not the least, you know, try to enjoy the process and the journey of innovating. Innovation isn't born in an instant. Many, many, many startups fail. They're called unicorns for a reason. It's so rare, right? And last but not the least, you know, be kind to yourself, right? And good luck. So thank you so much again for, this amazing honor. I'm Barney Chong, president of CSG Global, innovators of EasySoft Shoes. We created EasySoft as the ultimate alternative to leather shoes. As you know, many people are required to wear leather shoes at work and in school. The problem with leather shoes is that they are expensive. You can buy fake leather shoes, but they don't last. And they are not built for the elements like rain and flood, which commuters have to face constantly in our country. EasySoft solves all of those problems. They look like expensive leather shoes, but they're affordable. They're waterproof, 
mud-proof, and easy to clean. And since they are made from molded footwear with no stitching and gluing, they are very durable. When we launched this product, we had many customers and parents thanking us for creating EasySoft because of how much savings they got out of their work shoes and school shoes budget. Innovation is key in succeeding in today's business. Competition is getting tougher and tougher. And globalization has made the world smaller. Attention to local customers' pain points can be a key strategy for local companies to be able to outmaneuver foreign competitors who may not be too focused on the local customer's pain points. Try to look at the local customer's pain points and solve them in a unique way that has never been done before. Enterprise Innovator for Product Innovation, Barnaby Chong. Thank you, Chiki. Thank you, everybody. You know, when I was when I was in college, um, in, the, in, the, in the Ateneo, our textbook in our marketing class was uh, Josiah Goss' book, and uh, it was from that book that I learned the uh, you know my marketing basics, you know, the four piece of marketing, and uh, it was there that I discovered the co their company, the Mansmith and Fielders. Now, fast forward many years later, I never dreamed that I will be accepting an award. Uh, on innovation from Man Smith, and uh, this is a big deal for me and a huge accomplishment that I will never, I always cherish. Uh, thank you, Mr. Josiah Go and the uh, Man Smith, and I'd also like to thank uh, Mr. James Chen and and his family, our partner supplier, who worked with us to make EasySoft uh, possible for the rest of the world. And I would like to thank, of course, all my teammates and colleagues in the CHG Global who work tirelessly with me to ensure that we delight our customers with our products and services. Uh, and of course, thank you to God from whom all opportunities uh, and blessings come from. Uh, and my tip for entrepreneurs is that, uh, or, or, you know, I, my tip for you guys, you, you have only one life uh, make the most of it. If you have a, a dream, if you have a, a, a great innovative concept, go for it, try, try it. But uh, just one thing, no, before you go do it, make sure you do your homework, make sure you're, you, you, you're prepared because there's a lot of talk about just, just go do it and uh, fail and, and, and pick yourself up. But uh, it also helps to, to be more prepared and, and, and to, to reduce those failures so that you don't fail permanently, you know what I mean? So that's my tip. So how do you prepare? Well, get yourself educated, get mentors, get experience using other people's money by, you know, being an apprentice to some, to some entrepreneur. Uh, that those will help you uh, succeed better when you, when you start to do your own thing. I am the Eugene Evangelista of Pelusa Corporation, the innovator of the game-changing Raya Genetics business model. As a personal background, I work in the pharmaceutical industry where I assume various leadership positions in both county management and regional roles until I joined Filusa Corporation in 2013. In 2014, Filusa launched Rea Genetics, a unique brand of generic medicines in partnership initially with Pfizer and then with other global leaders in the pharmaceutical industry, namely Sanofi, GSK, Otsuka, Merck, Fresenius Cabi, AstraZeneca, Lundbeck, and OEP Philippines. The Rea Generics business model is truly unique and game-changing, as it is the only generics brand that could rightfully claim world-class quality, as the medicines in the portfolio are manufactured by the global experts. The companies who manufacture the innovative brands and were the first to commercialize these brands globally. With its tagline, Iba ang Rea Generics, huwag ka sa kalidad sa abot kayang halagan. Rea Generics has positioned itself 
as the only unibranded generics that offers the same efficacy, safety, and quality of the innovator brands at an affordable price. If there is one innovation concept that business executives can learn out of Rayo Generics' business model, it is all about partnership with a shared purpose. Partnership and co-creation is an innovation concept that is often overlooked by business executives in favor of innovation from inside. Enterprise Innovator for Business Model Innovation, Neogene Evangelista. Well, I'm so honored, humbled, and grateful to be one of the recipients of this first Man Smith Innovation Awards. Well, it's a great honor to be included in such distinguished list of awardees today, all of whom have made important innovations that have positively impacted the respective industries and contributed to the betterment of our society and the lives of our countrymen. My team at Pelusa and I are sincerely grateful to be recognized with this prestigious honor. We thank Mansmith and Fielders, headed by Mr. Josiah Go and Ms. Kiki Escarial Go, for coming up with, its, with, its, with this advocacy to recognize Filipino innovators and to inspire future innovators. This award is indeed a fitting recognition and acknowledgement of how a Filipino company for the past 63 years continue to embrace its commitment to innovate and improve so that more Filipinos can trust and patronize its products based on their needs. As a proudly 100% Filipino-owned company, we're driven by our purpose and always guided by the vision that our founder has etched in our corporate culture, which is to touch the lives of every Filipino by providing them with world-class quality products at an affordable price. In fact, the story of Filusa is the story of the Filipino family. Filipino families have always shown appreciation to brands that offer solutions responding to their needs. Our brands, namely Clean, Baby Flow, Mediplus, Albatross, Gleam, Apollo, and Rhea, have become one of the most reliable and widely, brand, widely used brands of Filipino households from generation to generation. We share this award to our Rare Generics partners, which without them, this game-changing business model will not be a success. Thank you to Pfizer, Sanofi, GSK, Otsuka, Merck, Presenius Kabi, AstraZeneca, Lundbeck, and OEP Philippines for the trust and confidence of collaborating with us in pursuing our shared purpose of helping the Filipino patients to have access to world-class quality generic medicines at the most affordable price. We also thank Mercury Drug Corporation, the leading and trusted drugstore chain for supporting these products by making them widely available in all their branches nationwide. I am extremely grateful to my team for their commitment, passion, and hard work in pursuing our company's purpose, which is why we continue to be a highly successful organization that helps Filipino lives become better and healthier. I'm very proud and honored to lead a team that goes beyond our sales and profit objectives to accomplish our mission and advocacy to the Filipino families. Thank you also to my family for their support and inspiration. And most importantly, thank you to our dear Lord for all his blessings, especially for the opportunity to be included among the great men and women of this year's Mansmith Innovation Awardees. We view this prestigious recognition not only as a testament to our capacity as businessmen and women, but more importantly, as a validation of why we continue to pursue excellence through innovation. Thank you very much. My name is RJ Ledesma, and I am the co-founder of Mercato Central and an Enterprise Innovator Awardee for Business Model Innovation. Our 10-year journey in Mercato Central has been one of continuously innovating our business model from an outdoor weekend morning market, which pivoted into a night food market. Then, when we better understood the key drivers of our business, we pivoted our business model into that of a food business incubator that helps small food businesses from ideation up to execution all the way to expansion, 
via number one, a training and education program with the Mercato Academy. Number two, through multiple market venues where they can incubate their concepts. Number three, an online marketplace to increase their reach. And very soon, number four, a cloud kitchen for us to scale up our small food businesses. For me, innovation is a unique solution to address a pain point that leverages your unfair advantage or secret sauce. This pandemic was a particularly harrowing experience for Mercato because we had to shut down all of our markets. But the silver lining was that it gave us an opportunity to review our brand essence as a food business incubator. Keeping that in mind, we asked ourselves, what new business models could we develop where we could remain an incubator but still innovate on that? This allowed us to go through iterative business models from community markets to online marketplaces until we came up with an appropriate model that embraced the opportunities that were presented by the new normal. And in some cases, they were even better business models than what we had in pre-pandemic. So for me, the key is to remind yourself how you can innovate your business model based on your brand ethic. Enterprise Innovator for Business Model Innovation, RJ Ledesma. Again, thank you very much. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, my fellow awardees. It is truly an honor and a privilege to be among the first set of Mansmith Innovation Awardees and to stand together side by side with all of you. I'd also like to thank my good friends, Chiki Escarialgo and Josiah Go for putting this together. Uh, you've been my inspirations and my mentors for business as well. Uh, your thoughts on innovation and on, on building different marketing strategies have been very helpful. I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to also be your host and moderator for many of your, of your events because it is from your events where I've learned through osmosis and learned from all the different uh, uh, successful business people and entrepreneurs how, how to innovate and become more agile on my own. So I would first of all like to thank uh, my family, my parents in particular, uh, because they were the ones who fostered an entrepreneurial mindset uh, amongst all of us kids. And it was their training for me, even as a young child, to become an entrepreneur right now. I'd like to thank my family, especially my wife, who is my partner in business, whether she likes it or not. Uh, I would like to thank her for the inspiration, for working hand in hand with me, whether she likes it or not, but we love each other anyway. And for helping us weather through this crisis and, and, and grow the business. I'd like to thank my children, uh, my three children, uh, Fortune, Rene the third and uh, Lorenzo for being my inspiration and my motivation for continuously improving uh, the business. And I'd also like to thank uh, the Mercato ecosystem. Since we've been talking about ecosystem, I'd like to thank, first of all, the people who work with me, the people who, who have been, who have stood by the market for the past 10 years to help us grow the business. For those who've been with us, for those who left us, for those who just joined us, thank you for being part of Mercato's journey. Uh, I would like to thank uh, all of our lesser partners. I would like to thank all of our strategic partners who have helped us grow the business and believed in the small food business incubation uh, concept that we had. I would like to thank all of the vendors who have, who, have, who have believed in Mercato and who have become successful and have grown and graduated out of the market uh, as a result at the same time. In particular, I also like to thank uh, my partners, uh, my partners from um, uh, in the Mercato app, uh, I would like to thank uh, David Amirol. I'd like to thank my partners in the Mercato Cloud Kitchen, in particular, uh, Francis Errol Medina. I'd like to thank uh, Fra uh, Edgar Allen Caper, who has been my partners over there. And of course, uh, my, my, uh, my mentors, my mentors in this business and my business partners as well. Jose Jomag Magsaysay, Potato Corner, Professor Andy Ferreria, uh, Professor Jay Bernardo. Thank you. Thank you for mentoring us uh, throughout this whole process. And um, having said that, having had all my thank yous, of course, God is good all the time. Thank you, dear Lord, for the inspiration behind all this one. This would not have been possible uh, without your divine intercession. Because you know, Lord, how many times I knelt down during this crisis and said, God, please help me. I don't know what to do anymore. And now, if you're going to ask me what is my piece of advice for many of the people who want to do innovation, I think, you know, what's been particularly scary during this time is that, you know, it was a bad time for many of us. We might perceive it as a bad time. But for many entrepreneurs, they don't see times as being bad or good. All they just see are opportunities out there. 
I often tell people being an entrepreneur is like wearing a pair of lens. I call it the entrepreneurial lens. So whether times are good or bad, just keep on wearing your entrepreneurial lens because you're always on the lookout for opportunities. Some of the best businesses emerged during crisis, during the Asian economic crisis, during the U.S. economic crisis. Uh, and during this crisis, many businesses will also emerge. But again, we want you to keep in mind that when you think of these businesses, you don't want to think of what I call pansamantala negosyo or opportunistic businesses. You want to think of something that is long-term and sustainable that will survive and thrive out of this crisis. And that's the biggest thing, that in this crisis, I've learned so much. But in particular, I've learned that, you know what, just see this, just see everything through the eyes of uh, an opportunity. And uh, remember, what you're doing right now is, if it boils down to anything, the job of an entrepreneur is to turn an irritation into an inspiration. Because if I am irritated by something, and you are also irritated by something, if I can solve our common irritation, jan ako kikita ng pera. Maraming salamat, Ms. Chiki Go, at yung Manspit Innovation Awards. I'm Dr. Merlinda Palencia of Endicor Natural Products Manufacturing, the innovator of Vigormin Biogenic Mineral Products. Wastewater is generally discharged into bodies of water untreated as high investment requirement for current treatment technologies impedes the active participation of households and manufacturing industries, particularly the SMEs. Vigormin application provides an alternative technology in wastewater treatment through the combined effect of bioremediation and adsorption. The Biogenic Minerals in Vigormin makes wastewater treatment natural, odor-free, safe, and cost-effective, making wastewater treatment participative, sustainable, and ecology-friendly. I hope the business world will open its doors to long-term collaboration with the academe. The academe is like a minefield rich with best scientific and engineering minds. The business companies hopefully will utilize the innovative minds of the academe to develop new products and services that can spearhead our country's economic growth. The meeting of minds and joining of forces of the academe and the business companies to definitely boost proactive and solution-focused researches that can address daily problems of our people, protect our environment, and lead to local technology advancement. The persistent and long-term pursuit of these different forms of innovation is essential for business growth at the company level and for the sustained inclusive development of our national economy. As experienced by developed countries, innovations provide strong foundation for an economy to achieve high level of technological advancement, robust productivity, and sustained economic growth. In our country, I believe that inclusive growth can be attained at a faster rate if our business community will make innovation as an integral part of business strategy. Enterprise Innovator for Product Innovation, Dr. Merlinda Abadicio Palencia. Good afternoon, everyone. In behalf of Envigor Natural Products Manufacturing Incorporated, I would like to take this opportunity to express our deep gratitude to Mansmith and Field Builders Incorporated for this humbling and, and inspiring experience of being recognized as one of the enterprise innovators for the year 2020. Our journey is just beginning and the commercialization of our innovation cannot achieve its goals without the support of the following. To God Almighty, the source of all wisdom and the great, greatest innovator of all ages, our faithful and ever-present uh, help in times of need, to Him we give all the praises and glory. To our families for the love and understanding, financial and moral support, especially during the field testing and market validation stage, where our time were focused mostly to project implementation. Thank you for your tolerance, and in, and in believing in the positive outcome of whatever we are doing and in providing the extra hand whenever we need. To Adamson University and to the Department of Science and Technology, the very reliable and uplifting wind beneath our wings. The collaboration of Adamson and DOST is a great inspiration not only to Envigor, but most to the academia who are working hard to contribute to the country's economic development 
through innovation and technology commercialization. Thank you for believing in the importance of natural products and local products for environment protection. To Dr. Fortunato de la Peña and Yusek Rowena Guevara, uh, Rowena Christine Guevara of the BUST, the professional and competent uh, men and women of the shared TAPI BUST offices in Ilocos region, Central Luzon, Calabarzon, Mimaropa, Bicol, Leyte, Panay, Caraga, and Sambuanga. Our heartfelt gratitude to the continuous support to Vigormin from its product development to its commercialization. To Father Greg Banyaga, to Father Mani Manintim, to Father Bong Iloriaga, Dr. Venus Quevedo of Adamson University, to the CRD and its personal of Adamson University. Thank you very much for all the support and inspiration that serve as the prime mover of all researchers' activities. Adamson University administration empowered Vigormin from academic research product to a commercialized product available now in the consumer market. Hopefully, NVGOR can contribute to the goals of the university in making then sentient professionals a catalyst for community development and environment protection. Thank you too to IFUFIL, to WIPO, to Leaders in Innovation Fellowship for, me, for supporting us all throughout this journey. To all of you, again, thank you very much. All our humble accomplishments cannot be achieved without your collaboration and support. To God Almighty be all the glory. Thank you very much. I am Rio Ilao of Mobile Optima, the innovators behind Tarki, a field force automation software that's used by 10,000 field employees in the Philippines. Tarki is our own invention. We basically designed the entire system from scratch developed the business model, and we are also the first to introduce this one-of-a-kind system in the Philippines. Being in the technology industry, we realize that while the Philippines is known for being excellent in providing services, there is opportunity to be also known for our products, for our innovation. You know, whenever we present Tariki to prospective companies, we can't help but be amazed. Nabibilib talaga sila, and they ask us, saan ba to gawa? International ba to? And we tell them, this is proudly Filipino-made. This is a Filipino invention. And it's during these instances that we feel quite unfortunate that many of us still don't realize that we Filipinos are also capable of doing great and innovative products. That's why it's good that Mansmith launched the Innovation Summit and Awards because it's a celebration of Filipino innovation. It reminds us na magagaling talaga ang mga Pinoy. If you look at progressive countries, they consciously invest and cultivate a culture of innovation because they know that that is where future growth will come from. We need to do the same here in the Philippines. We can start with ourselves as business owners. We can promote a culture of innovation within our own companies. We can also consciously help our local Filipino companies, especially our startups. Because when we support Filipino innovation, we are not just helping that particular company, but we are also taking a huge step towards a progressive Philippine economy. Enterprise Innovator for Technology Innovation, Maria Rosario Ilao. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Chiki. Thank you so much for this award. Um, to be a part of the first ever Mansmith Innovation Summit and Awards is truly an, a big honor for me and for our company, Mobile Optima. So I would like to dedicate this award to our amazing Tarki team, to all of our employees for their unwavering passion, for their loyalty and hard work. Uh, I wish this can be seen, this beautiful award. Guys, this award is for, for all of us. Um, I would like to thank the Mansmith team, Mr. Josiah Go, Ms. Chiki, um, Ms. Ito, Ms. Rosana for nominating us, the panel of judges for recognizing our product, Tarki. It's really a big honor to have our homegrown Filipino-made product be making a name for itself, especially amid some of the global competitors that we now have in the space. 
So please continue to hold this Man Smith Innovation Summit and Awards because it celebrates Filipino innovation and it inspires many local companies to also do the same. To our clients and customers, thank you so much for supporting us and for trusting us all of these years. The past six years has been a truly fulfilling journey, working and learning with all of you. And of course, I would like to thank my ever supportive husband, Jerry, who I share this award with. Thank you so much for leading me to the path of entrepreneurship, where we have the opportunity to not only help our own family, but also help other people and other businesses. And of course, thank you to our family, our parents and our three children, Justin, Reese, and Riley. Thank you for being our inspiration and for being our source of strength. And finally, to, our, to my fellow tech founders, please continue to push for Filipino innovation and to showcase to the whole world na magagaling ang mga Pinoy. So thank you so much again. We offer this award to our Lord. To God be the glory. Congratulations once again to the Mansmith Innovation Awardees under the Enterprise Innovation category, as well to the Master Innovators I recognized yesterday. It gives us so much pride to witness and celebrate your success. To wrap up our two-day awards and conference, I'd like to call on Chairman and Chief Innovation Strategist, Josiah Go. We have just listened to 10 award-winning innovators share their insights about what innovation is and how it can be achieved. We must remember that innovation is the job of everyone, regardless of your functional department. Whether you're a solo entrepreneur in a small business or in a larger company. I'd like to extend a thank you to our awardees and partners today for coming together to make this new advocacy of Mansmith possible. Right now, we're also concurrently running the Mansmith Innovation Challenge. Contestants are solving real-world business cases provided by our partners and select SMEs with the most innovative solutions, winning as much as 200,000 pesos. Do you think you have what it takes to become the next master innovator or enterprise innovator? We are searching for applications for the next Mansmith Innovation Awards. Visit our website at mansmithinnovation.com for more details. Once again, thank you so much to all of you who attended and I hope you can apply the learnings here to your own industries. Indeed, we believe in the Filipino talent and we will keep rising. We will keep shining. Thank you so much, Josiah. And again, congratulations to all our winners. We are excited to see more thriving Filipino innovators. This has been your moderator, Mansmith CEO, Chiki Escariel Go. Thanking all of you, and let's keep moving forward this 2021. If you look at progressive countries, they consciously invest and cultivate a culture of innovation because they know that that is where future growth will come from. I believe that inclusive growth can be attained at a faster rate if our business community will make innovation as an integral part of business strategy. It is all about partnership with a shared purpose. Partnership and co-creation is an innovation concept that is often overlooked by business executives. Attention to local customers' pain points can be a key strategy for local companies to be able to outmaneuver foreign competitors who may not be too focused on the local customers' pain points. The key is to remind yourself how you can innovate your business model based on your brand essence. It is important for companies to focus on business model innovation. 
to take a more forward-looking assessment of who they define as their customer, how they will serve this group, and how this service can be monetized. Value chain helps build good company narrative that you can share with your stakeholders. involves a lot of iteration. The best chance one has of executing a meaningful innovation is to embark on the process of starting, validating, pivoting, and maybe starting again. The odds of success markedly improve the sooner and faster you're able to test your ideas and assumptions. Innovation drives growth and keeps companies relevant in changing times. At the core, it's about doing something differently from everyone else in your space. So it is with gratitude that we come to this space now that Mansmith has created for people who think differently, see things differently, and do things differently. And for future innovators to consider that the things we make represent the things that we value. They reveal who we are and what we believe in. The first Mansmith Innovation Awards and Summit is officially endorsed by the Department of Trade and Industry, Go Negosyo, and the Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry. This event has been made possible by our generous partners, Platinum Partners, Bounty Agro Ventures Incorporated, Phoenix, Institutional Partners, Abinson, Waters Philippines, Gold Partners, JS Unitrade, Bayad, Online Staging Partner, CBRC Vice, Research Partner, Nielsen, Print Media Partner, The Philippine Daily Inquirer, Trophy Buy, TOYM and TOYP awardee Juan Sajid Imao and 3D printing partner Animo Labs. <laughs>